Hey guys, it's Owen from Blowin' and Emily from Blowin'. She's going to be in the channel now. Yeah. And today, we are doing two cool things that we saw. We're going to make um bubble, a bubble, a fancy way to make, way to make bubbles. Just a towel, some water and soap. So if you guys want to try along. And a fancier way to make little Which cheese. Which you can just have two pieces of cheese, long cheese, like that. And two pieces of bread and a knife. That's it. Alright, let's go right into it. Okay. Let's do the... the the this, whatever this house first. Um, okay. And I'm going to be taste testing, and Emily's going to be making both and popping. Yeah. So, did you see one of these dish towels fabric? Or any like towel, that? really. Just, Actually, no, dish towel, I guess. Dish towel. And what you're going to do is, is you're, you're going to take it and dip it in regular water. So you're just going to take the end and just dip it in water like this. As you guys don't any have to water. dip it, you guys like, can put it under the... Uh, Faucet. So once you get this all wet, you're gonna take soap. like any soap, any soap, any soap. But it has to be like liquid soapish. And then no, what you're it's gonna, just soap. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little at the end and smush it in like this. Rub it in. Rub it in. And then once you got that, take the opposite end that you put everything on and go like this. It works. <laughs> and you can continue Fun. doing that. And it's not that messy because it'll just like disintegrate. You can even clean your hands. Hand sanitizer. So you can just keep going like this. But, um. Hey, actually, go. it's a good thing because it's also easy cleanup. Yeah. So the next one, Two we don't know. One. Yeah. Easy. Next one, we don't really know if it works. It's going to be our first time too. So, um, yeah. There um, you, so, this one, we're going to need the stove for this, but we will bring the camera to the stove because we can't No, see. it's hard to get it on. But we'll try. We'll see. Okay, first. So, this Tell one. Tell my ingredients. Again, my ingredients. Two pieces of bread, any kind, like this. And then that this kind of cheese. Two of them. Doesn't matter what kind of cheese, whatever you cheese, like. American cheese. American cheese. It doesn't really matter. So, first step that you're going to do is take each one. Can you hear one? Okay. And some and then we're just gonna like cut off the crust really. Like so that some people have fancier ways, like I said this is a fancier way. So pretty much we're just gonna cut off the crust. You're also gonna need a rolling careful and um careful tonight. And if you guys wanna listen in or try it while we're doing this, you know, yeah, do it you could what do it. listening or just watch. So hey? We probably will fast forward for this. We're gonna do the no, same we're not thing. gonna fast forward. We're gonna hold do on, the same. Hold on. We'll get you right back after we finish cutting this stuff. Oh. Okay, we're back. And, and now, and by the way, cutting the stuff. So I was cutting the crust off. It's just not crust. All the crust is here. Now you can reuse this for anything. You're out for the beer. You can just like. But what we're gonna do now? Out. Or just actually put it aside. Okay, now that that is done and out of the way, you are gonna take a very large strong bench. Looks like it does bat. not be large though. It looks, it looks like a bat. Just do one at a time. It looks like a bat. So what I'm gonna do is all I'm gonna do is pull it. Uh, I, I'll do the other one so that it gets flat. And once it gets flat, you do the other one. Flat. 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 You want it. Flat. So flat. Flat. Like flat. And once it gets flat. Then flat enough as flat as you want. As flat as you want, and it doesn't really matter. Then, like this just make it not matter. able to rip. Like, it, it'll probably rip, but you gotta be very careful with it. Like, see if you guys want it to be like. And once that's done, like it'll be good. And then I'll tell you the next step or something. Okay, now that they're both full, so I'm gonna show. Okay, you can see it. You can see it, right? Okay, so you're gonna have these two, and you're gonna kind of like overlap it like this. So you see how they're a little wrapped, and then you're gonna roll them together, sort of like that. And if you want to go more, okay. Once that's done, this is where the cheese comes in. That cheese, I love cheese. Now the cheese doesn't fit. It's okay. It's okay if it's over. If it gets on the edge. But you're oh, gonna sort of push it like this, okay? Now you're gonna roll the cheese onto it. It might come on your lumpen. But now that they're like you don't want that sort of, 
Um, if you guys want to put any seasoning on it, absolutely cut on cheese, whatever you if guys you like. If you like real cheese, so way. Um, but yeah, do you want it? Okay. So, now that that's done, you're going to roll it up like this. It's Are you sure you're not making a burrito? I'm sure. Are you sure? It's you're probably going to fall burrito? apart, but it's okay because it's going to be grilled cheese anyway. Now, I'll can you bring it over to the stove for me? No, because you could always see. Can you guys see that? No, I want you to see that person. So, we're going to spray the pan. Really organize the pan. Spray the pan. Now, we spray the pan. Now, we first we'll have to put it on. Hang on. And you have to let it go. So, while you're using the stove and the mask, make sure our parent is present so you don't bring yourself or hurt yourself. Now, what I am going to do is dispatch it. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, that's a con. Works. It works. Whatever it is, it works. Now you're gonna put it on, and it's and it's gonna fall apart. It is our first one. Okay. So. Okay. I'm gonna take this now. So we're just gonna turn it down. And, no, down is out. Down is this way. Okay. Now okay, we're sort of just gonna put this like make sure it gets like um. Burn a little bit and then we'll flip it halfway through. So we'll just pause it to wait and um, flip it. So uh, we'll, we'll see you back. guys when it's when okay, the flip. side is burnt. Uh, you want to you want to keep it at a low to medium, medium heat, heat so you don't like burn it. Right. So we'll tell you when it's time to flip. Time to flip. So while you're doing it, just kind of like flip it over like that. But I, I'm gonna flip it over this way. Um, this side's not that brown yet. But, that is brown. So, this is brown. It's looking pretty good. Brown? I'm not gonna lie. So, we'll tell you when it's done, pretty much. It should get rising. You guys, if you guys want to put butter on it, then you can, because it's gonna make it, like, more toasty and brown. We didn't put butter on it. We just put this oil to make it, like, not stick. But, we'll tell you when it's time to take off, okay? Hold on. Where is it? Now that you have flipped it, it is time to take it off. So be careful don't, if you want your parent to do it. Use a tongue. If you want your parent to do it, please use. So no, I'll let you use the snappy snappy tongue. Use the tongue. Snap snap. And then snap, what snap. you'll do is you will. So make sure to turn the stove off first. I just I was that. So make sure to turn off the stove. Where it is. Now that it's done. Get a plate. You need a plate. And and whatever you're gonna use, it's gonna be tong -tong. Tong -tong. and then put it on this. Ooh, okay. Kind of just gonna sneak now, tong -tong. Tong -tong. okay. So now that you have your beautiful, beautiful thing that should be burnt on both sides, like yeah, yeah, um, that is like fun. this beautiful burnt thing. We are going to so now cut it. Though. Huh? You yes, be careful. <laughs> Okay, that's not good. Oh, what's that? That's not. Maybe speech. the dogs will eat it. Afterwards, I need speech. Okay. Okay. Now that it is all done, let's eat. I'm oh, hungry. Now I won't be eating this because I'm very picky. Here's a try not my chicken nuggets. You must have you saw that other video. She tried that size chip. Yeah, it's it, was even it was gross and not hot. You should it check it out. It like cold. You should really check it out. Okay, Owen. Open wide. So, this is what the overall product looks like. Production. Whatever. Okay, now, Owen, take a bite. Here, let me cut it for you. Baby bites. Baby bites. Now, it's your choice what you want to eat, but here's your fork. Okay, let's see his face, but let's also see. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I don't do it that way. I don't do it that way. Yes. He likes sushi, so he must have chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, I do it this way. Wait, what okay. piece am I eating? It doesn't matter. I wouldn't eat that because that doesn't have a lot of cheese. It's just burnt bread. 
to eat that big piece. Okay. Just eat it. Just eat it. Okay, just eat it. Let's try it. That's us. Is it good? So kind of. It's very good if you guys want to try it. You can. It's very fast and easy. Um, it's not fast. It's not. Easy. It takes like it's hard. It takes cool. like ten minutes. It's easy. Um, and if you guys want to try either of the tricks, like they're both super it's fun. It's called core mode. Oh, it died from the taste. Okay, so they're very easy. Um, if you guys want to do something different about it, make your own life hacks. Not hacks, but if you guys want to make your own way to do it, you can add some seasoning to the bread or something. And try it. Maybe if you put food coloring in the bubbles, it'll work. I don't know. Maybe. You should try it. Okay. So, one and one. like to the channel. This is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Blowing out.